Good Friday morning. I'm Jody Chapin. And I'm Tim Guider. And we are live at the RBC Heritage at the Harbortown Golf Links. Again. Again. We like, round two. Yep, we liked it so much yesterday that <laughs> we thought we would come back. And there's a big, big difference in the field today. Yesterday it was so cool and breezy, right. and that affected play a little bit. It really did. I mean, I think a lot of people thought with the soft greens because of the rain the night before there was going to be a lot of low scores. There were still some pretty good scores. Graham McDowell at every shot 66, but people didn't get away. They didn't they didn't shoot a really low score. I think there were 35 rounds under yeah. par, 21 in the 60s, but it was a quiet day scoring wise, but certainly not with electricity with uh, Jordan Spieth going out the first tee, first tee at 12.40 and uh, there was so many people out to see him, it was great. You didn't warn me. We're, we're sitting right here. <laughs> we're at the entrance and, and off to our right is uh, the golfer's entrance. Okay, nobody warned me that they're going to come through here. So just as I had shut off my phone, <laughs> here comes Jordan Spieth right. and I couldn't get it back on to get that picture except as he was going the other you way. You almost got that selfie. I didn't get his better side. That's right. I wonder if that, that would have been the first selfie with the new Masters champion. It, no, wow. doubt it. I, I'm really going to make you disappointed now. <laughs> I'm sure well, I know he took one of himself that. at the top of the Empire That's State right. Building on yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. So, well, and, real quick, we'll just mention that Morgan Hoffman has moved to the top of the leaderboard. Okay. Six under par. Matt Kuchar is five under. He is one shot back, tied with Graham McDowell, who is a first round leader. Matt Every, who was tied for the lead after one round, he's dropped a shot. He's at four under. Play underway for about two hours now. Uh, this is going to be a lot more scoring as the day goes on that leaderboard is going to change all day long. Today is warmer. I think the Nats are out today, too. That So that could change, you know, the, the feel of Sorry. the play. And possibly some thunderstorms this afternoon. I know we're, we're watching the weather very closely, and our first alert meteorologist, John Weatherby, is here with mm -hmm. us. Um, so maybe you want to weigh in on this weather situation? Happy to do so. Happy to do so. And right at the moment, the radar is all clear, 63 degrees. So it's two degrees warmer than yesterday, just a light north breeze. We do have some showers, I'm afraid, that are be in the forecast for the day. But it's an opportunity for us to talk about the tournament. And Mike Manasotis is with me. He is the chairman of the communications department, but next year will be in charge of all the volunteers. Ray Angel's been doing a great job. He certainly has. He's a tough act to follow, that's for sure. <laughs> What's the job mean in charge of all the volunteers? Uh, I'll tell you what. While you're talking about that, let's look around here at the first tee, and our camera will pan, and we'll just count the number of volunteers we see, okay? <laughs> well, being in charge of volunteers means recruiting. Yeah. And that's our basic function we want to make sure we have the right people enough people yep. and they're trained well what they're doing okay and that's what our job is and we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve you probably missed half so, dozen. I, yeah, and there's a second shift that comes on the second shift's coming in later on today because it's a long day on friday all of these people volunteer to make this one of the biggest events in the low country that's right and without them it doesn't work it really doesn't work and they do volunteer their time and a lot of it and a lot of people like to talk. Guidera talks about this all the time. This is one of the players' favorite places to come and play golf. It's a wonderful family environment. You're a big part of that. Well, thanks for saying that, but I think it's uh, the guys that are out here working every day that really do the heavy lifting. Well, let's talk about the real heavy lifting that this tournament does, and that's the charity dollars that go back into the low country. You know, I think that's the main motivating factor that these guys do volunteer their time. They realize that they're part of the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. They're donating the foundation's raising millions of dollars to give back to scholarships, to give back to worthy charities throughout the community, low country, and even the state. And every year there's a charity of the year. We're right. not talking hundreds or thousands. We're talking millions. How much? You got a number? I, I don't know that exact number. That's a little bit above my pay grade. You know, <laughs> we'll wait to see how many tickets we sell and how yeah. many people come through our gate. But uh, we're, we're shooting for as high numbers as we can. And please come in and support our RBC Heritage. Thank you, John. Boy, we would appreciate it. Presented by Boeing. The guys, this is Mike Manasotis. We're so glad he's with us on WTOC for Mid Morning Live. Mike, have a great, great rest of the day. Thanks again. Appreciate it. On the PGA Tour, if it weren't for volunteers, there would not be PGA Tour events because if you had to pay the people that were volunteering their time here, all the money that they donate to charity, that the PGA Tour donates to charity, would be gone. They know how to, they know how to do it right here. I have to say, they look pretty sharp. Our first alert meteorologist, John Weatherby, looking sharp there out on, on near the course. I just want to you check. I just me? want to make okay. sure that you're looking good today because <laughs> we have two very special people with us right. today. We have some New York bloggers, is what I call them. They're going to call us out if we're not looking sharp. Is, these are the people <laughs> who we you care. You care what they eat. You care where they sleep. You care what they're wearing and you're going to see what they're wearing in just a little bit and they're going to tell us uh, I think we may be just maybe a little overdressed for the golf course <laughs> but, 
<laughs> but oh, and there were, we're take, did you see? We took a quick shot of them. But our New York bloggers will be coming up with us, and we're again going to um, we'll talk more about the tournament. This is second day, mm -hmm. and big weekend. Um, Real big weekend, yeah. This is the day where the players know if they make the cut, if they if they play the weekend, they'll cut the field down to about 70 players from 132, and we'll know that number later on. Brian Harmon and Savannah's going to do a little work to get there. He shot 75 yesterday, four over par. He is tied for 111th, and as I said, 70 make the cut, so he's got to make a significant move this afternoon. You know, either way, he has got um, everybody's heart with oh, him. Oh, certainly. You know, he's got a big gallery when yeah. he comes home, and uh, anytime he plays within driving distance, his mom, Nancy, and his dad, yeah. Eric, are right there following yeah. him. Yeah, and, and you too. <laughs> I've, been, I've followed, followed Brian quite yeah. a bit, yeah. Have you ever been called a stalker? <laughs> a, a golf stalker? I certainly felt like one. <laughs> I, don't I don't know if I've ever been called one. If it is, it's been behind my back, but I certainly have felt like one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's neat to surround isn't it? Yeah. Nice to be. All right, we're going to take a little break, and when we come back, bloggers. What are they blogging about? We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we are back at the Heritage, the RBC Heritage, and here are the New York bloggers that we were telling you about. You know, Tim and I are just, we're social media babies, like, <laughs> I guess you would call it. We're just now getting used to Twitter. Okay, so blogging is new for us. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. We're excited to be here. This is Jessica Sturdy, yeah. and this is Hallie Wilson, and you are a team, sort of, kind of. We're <laughs> partners in crime. <laughs> yeah. Tell people what bloggers do. So bloggers, we have websites and then we have social media channels and basically what we're here doing is socializing the experience. Like we're here exper experiencing what Hilton had us to offer. We want to check out the golf tournament, see the style obviously, but then there's so much more to that too. So we're here to kind of talk about the experience as a whole and why it's fun, why it's relevant. What you eat, where you sleep, what's trending, and are you, you're a sports fan I heard? Yeah, we, we're both sports both? fans. Yeah. yeah. So so golf is is a fun place for you to be. Yeah, it's great. Hallie's parents are actually both pro golfers. They are. They'll appreciate that plug. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> but yeah, we're just here to share the experience yeah. with our readers. And, and then hopefully, you know, they'll want to experience it as well. So you probably know then that there is a bit of a fashion history to the heritage. This is kind of the, the big social event of the spring here in Hilton Head. It's the first chance for a lot of ladies to come out and wear their new dresses. A lot of guys wear their new stuff for the spring. What do you expect to see here, especially when the weekend comes and everybody's kind of getting dressed up? Well, I think everybody comes to dress to impress. Um, I think this spring especially, we were excited to not be wearing tights with our skirts. <laughs> it's um, been cold. Yeah. 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 Although they do help with the gnats, I have to say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of crisp whites are really popular this season. Like, you're very oh, on trend with your jacket. Look, look at you. Yeah. Yeah. I knew that. Yeah. But, you know, everybody loves a good pop of color, too. Yeah. Yeah, Definitely. I love, I always love stripes, but I think stripes, especially for spring and wearing, you know, bold prints, yep. is especially fun. And you girls are rocking the right. stripes. <laughs> We're going to take a picture. We have a picture of each of you. If we can take uh, Jessica's, Jessica's picture first, because I want you to look down <laughs> at, at Jessica's <laughs> shoes in the picture, because you're wearing the it shoes. I don't know if you remember what shoes are in the picture, but it's the one with the, the single strap across the top, the single strap in the ankle, and they're a nice spiked heel a high yeah. heel they're not too tall so you can definitely still walk around the tournament in them but the yeah. ankle strap style is definitely big again for and spring. i'm glad i didn't do my toenails white today yeah. i'm very yeah. embarrassed See? if we had the same but the one now in in hallie's picture um that we're going to show you now it um and she's wearing the one right now with the single strap there here, so we're going to take i got her video take live okay we had a cute picture, now we're coming back and take live of the shoes. Oh. So the shoes are definitely a major part of the outfit, right? Oh yeah. Always. <laughs> and it's always about fashion and function. You know, you want to be wearing something that works with your outfit, but also that you can walk around in all day. It's comfortable. Yeah. The first thing ever is having shoes that you can't walk in, that are pinching your feet. Same with clothing. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's got to be fashionable and functional. Sometimes and you're doing something that's kind of new also, maybe this season, last season. You've got a pattern and a stripe. Yeah, we yeah. would not have seen that just a couple years ago. <laughs> all about the print mixing. The print mixing. Mm -hmm. I really like to mix unexpected elements together. I think it just really works, especially from a fashion standpoint. It's 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 bold. You have to take that risk. You just have to do it. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you're going to get a few people going <laughs> like that when you, when you know you go you're by. Doing it right. <laughs> That's right, exactly. Because we're we're just getting people used to the trending. What's what else is trending? Where where have you been? Where did you come from? 
New York. Traveling to, from, to, yeah, from New York. New York. Where was your last trip that you traveled? I was in London and Paris last week. Okay. Wow. Two weeks ago. What? And what was I? Yeah, well, you went well, to the Bahamas. Yeah. I was oh, you went to the Bahamas. Bahamas. Well, what are they doing over in Paris and London that, that well, we need really to do? Well, it's really rainy when oh, okay. I was there, so umbrellas were the chic <laughs> style. But um, I think this season's all about kind of like a little bit of minimalism, like wearing all white, kind of wearing all one color. And the French do that easy, relaxed yeah. dressing so well. So I'd love Very that. Very nice. Yeah. And for, for men, it's kind of getting a little more tailored. It's not the full cut that we saw just really two or three years ago, right? Mm -hmm. See, yeah. listen yeah. to yeah. yeah, you know what <laughs> okay. you're talking about. Okay, <laughs> but tell them, what was the term that I taught you this morning? O-O-T-D. Yeah. 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 You know what O-O-T-D is? It means outfit, outfit of, of the, the day. day. All right, so we want to go around and we want to snap pictures of everybody and we want to share them. Share them on the WTOC Facebook page or Instagram us or Twitter us with OOTD. How do people follow you? Um, um, on Instagram, on Twitter, my social handles are Hallie K. Wilson. And mine are bows and sequins. Mm -hmm. All right, so you, blogging is, it's not, you're, it's detailed. You're going to be talking about things. People are going to learn things. And do you interact with people? People can ask oh, you of questions. Course. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course yeah. yeah. That's part of the experience. Yeah, it's all about a two-way conversation, about a dialogue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you taking pictures? You're going to be out taking pictures with yeah, people? Yeah. yeah, we'll be here. And we're taking over the at Visit Hilton Head Instagram today. Yeah. At Visit, Visit Hilton, Hilton Head Instagram today. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we're going to look One quick question before yep. we go. We talked about pattern matching. That's got to be big here at the Heritage because the tartan plaid <gasps> is so right. big. What's the tip for the weekend so people look mm -hmm. the way they're supposed to look when they wear in their plaid? Stick with, I would say, two colors, two or three colors maximum. Don't go crazy. <laughs> Just try to ha stick to a, a palette. So I get that green tie and orange shirt yeah. out of the yeah, way and way. don't try, wear those with the tartan. Try yellow. Yeah. Yellow with the, with the yeah. tartan plaid. That'll be good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful time and we'll look for you on the blog. Great. Right. Now Thanks. that we know what blogging we know. is. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll be right back. <laughs> Are you? Where's the? <laughs> You're selfieing again. We were back. We are, they're go, they're going to teach us uh, teach me how to how to selfie. So I'm going to okay. start blogging with them. I just can't but get look the at you. Of it. We're ahead of Did the fashion. Did I get ahead of the fashion the trend? White. The white's big go. on tour. You see a lot of the players wearing white pants and the white belts. I noticed that. Yeah. I noticed that. It's, it's back. Uh, real quick, we'll mention that Morgan Hoffman has taken a two shot lead as a seven under par through 12 holes. Three players at five under, including the last two players to win here, Matt Kuchar last year and Graham McDowell the year before that. Right. So it's shaping up already like an exciting day. We've been talking a, a little bit about the weather, and we have some. We have our first alert meteorologist, John Weatherby, here, and he has found someone um, that they, they can just do weather jokes all day long. <laughs> Actually, we're talking more about the fashion, and we're watching everybody come by and think, well, what do you guys think? You like that outfit? Or? Oh, never mind. When it comes to the fashion uh, clothes horse, the, the three of us are not that case, but that's okay. Let me introduce you first to John Querrello. Uh, Qu Was that close? Yeah, close enough. Querrello. He's John Q. Want us to move? John Q to all of us. And Ron Morales. And Ron is the warning meteorologist and senior meteorologist. And folks waiting behind us, we're glad they're there. Guys, is it normal for the National Weather Service to send over a couple of skilled meteorologists from their fabulous team to be a part of this uh, tournament? Well, we're doing more of this stuff more often now as part of the Weather Services Weather Ready, Ready Nation initiative, which really is about the protection of life and property. So when we can help in these large outdoor events, uh, protect the general public and first responders, and, and that's what we do more often now. So you're here with the Hilton Head Emergency Management folks, uh, helping them out, getting the information out that needs to be distributed. That's absolutely right. We're here to support uh, the Hilton Head Emergency Management who's supporting the safety of the public, as John just said. So that's that's how we, we get in. And then we have a partnership with the private sector as well, who takes care of the PGA folks. So we kind of work, we can work together in that fashion. We are lucky enough, thanks to Pat Prokop, to be one of the stations that really enjoys working with and gets wonderful information and respect from the National Weather Service offices. That's not the case for a lot of television stations. It is the case around the country, I'm sure. But for you, that's really important to keep those communications, lines of communications going, right? Absolutely. The media is our, one of our biggest partners. Without you guys to have the mouthpiece out to the world, we, we just wouldn't have the visibility because less people know who the National Weather Service is than the local. And by our outfits, you can tell we're just kind of hiding here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Where are you located actually on Hillnet Island? Are you on a pump tent someplace or are you in an actual location? We're actually in a command post with other law enforcement and first responders there. So if something does happen, we're, we're there with people that need to make the critical decisions.
John Q asked me about a couple of golfers, and I thought I'd ask him some golf questions. And he went, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. I don't know anything. But other activities going on with the National Weather Service, not only here in our area, Savannah and Hilton Head, but also across the area. What, what, uh, the weather warning, uh, getting the weather nation ready to go. What else is going on? Oh, we've got lots of initiatives going on. Plus, we've been also supporting a lot of big outdoor events in the last few weeks, like the bridge run, for example, right. was a big one back in Charleston with 100,000 plus people. Mm -hmm. um, we're gearing up for our tropical season. We hope that people realize that you know we are in a very vulnerable area for tropical weather. And uh, don't forget that we do and can get tropical storms and hurricanes that can affect us dramatically. Here. And June 1 is when we start to November 30th. We'll have all that for you, of course. Gentlemen, thank you both for joining us on WTOC and Mid Morning Live. And go on and enjoy a little bit of the golf tournament. I think you'll find you'll enjoy it, okay? <laughs> all right, thank you. Tim and Jody, back to you guys. I didn't hear one joke. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ask John how's the weather up there? Oh. <laughs> uh, now you've heard of you. That's a right. bad one, but you've heard of you. <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about This is a pin that they have at the Heritage uh, most years. It's uh, the, Today is L's for Autism Day. Ernie L's, a very popular PGA Tour player, has an autistic child, and he has started an organization to help raise money and awareness. And he pr puts these tees, these little ribbons out mm -hmm. on the first tee, blue, of course, blue and white being the, right. the autism colors. And the players will put them on their hat, they'll put them on the collar of their shirt, and the majority of them will wear them, and they'll be seen around the golf course, and people will be wearing them around the golf course. And again, it's just a, a great mechanism to raise awareness. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Well, we have our pins, and thank you, thank you for um, giving us the, these pins to wear. A guy that um, is so popular here in Hilton Head, and really all over. Kind of created the soundtrack to Hilton Head, you might say. <laughs> there you go. All right, Greg Russell. When we come back. I'm on site. Yeah. <laughs> Greg Russell joins us now. Is that how? What, is that what you use for your advertising? The the soundtrack of Hilton Head, or did he make that up? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm not sure what you said, but um, you know, several years ago, I wrote that song, "Come Away Home." Charles Fraser asked me to write yeah. a song about Hilton Head, and I did. And Jim Nance and Lance Barrow at CBS picked it up and started using it, and it's been fun. Yeah, we hear it every year on the the tournament broadcast, but it's also been used in, in other promotions for the island, hasn't yes, it? Yes, it has. It's. Yeah, it, you know, it was just a, a work of, of, of love that Charles asked me to put something on paper that about Hilton Head, and that's what came out. So. Singer, songwriter, entertainer, <laughs> you do so much um, around the area. But one of the big things, Hilton Head Heroes, you started that in 1995 with your wife. Tell people a little bit about that. Well, every week we, we own a home not far from here, about a driver and a wedge, and it's a nice big house. And every week a new family comes from somewhere around the country. And they spend a week here. They all have a critically ill child, but we bring brothers and grandma and everybody, and they swim in the pool in the backyard, and they get to see dolphins and build sand castles. And in many cases, they're saying goodbye to one of their little ones. So the Heritage has been fabulous to us and all the other local charities raising monies to uh, help support this community. And a lot of times, these are families that are coming from other parts of the country, don't have ready access to the ocean, to the coast, some of them seeing dolphins for the first time. Some of our families that come here have never eaten in a restaurant with a tablecloth or seen a dolphin or been to the beach. Um, and so we provide everything that they could uh, that wa would want and, and use here uh, for their week while they're with us. Where can people hear you? Hear me now, they'll have to wait until Memorial Day. Okay. Uh, I finished up, uh, you know, I'm here the first half of this yeah. week. Uh, our last two weeks over spring breaks were just huge, of course. And this week is a little more adult uh, yeah. world. Uh, but I've gotten to know the players over the years because all their kids sure. come out. And it's a whole new fresh crop every year. Yeah. Yeah. It's How much fun do you to meet them. Perform these days? Not as much as I used to. Uh, 125, 30 days a year. Um, I'm going That's out. Still to, a lot. <laughs> I'm going out to Los Angeles immediately from here. I'm on, I'm involved in uh, a film company, and so that's an exciting oh, that's part great. of my life. Yeah, yeah. That, that's new. But they can go online. Yeah, um, and, HiltonHeadHeroes.com or GregRussell.com and, and get right to us. Now, now you've got the story that a lot of people who are on Hilton Head in 1968 or nine have that you. Could have been out on that 18th fairway, right? <laughs> <laughs> kind of fell oh, yeah. through. <laughs> yeah. No, it didn't work. Uh, oh, well. You know, I would have loved to have come here and played. I played in the Pro-Am on Monday, which is Excellent. terrific. <laughs> yeah. So glad to have you with us. Thank, Thank you. you. You guys so are always much. so gracious to us, and we appreciate it. Thanks, Greg. Great to see you. We'll be right back. You guys go. Stand by. Stand by. <laughs> okay, I'm taking... I'm
I'm taking everybody's picture. All right, we're out here all day for news hits and then 7.30 live at, the, at Harbor Town. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Have a great day, everyone. Enjoy the weekend.